Uh, by, by the way, have you noticed Trump's down in Florida, gets off the airplane and goes, oh, folks, you know what I just saw? I can't believe they're passing out bananas in the food tent. Trump and Melania and the team, they're passing out bananas. You know what this is going to lead to? You know damn well what this is going to lead to. I got a bad food. Now, bananas are actually the perfect food for the weather conditions in Florida, for heat and humidity, uh, for replenishing electrolytes and the, um, the things that are necessary to keep your body functioning. Bananas are the perfect food. You may not know this, but uh, when East Coast, Northeastern football teams go out to Arizona to play the Cardinals or when they occasionally, when the Chargers uh, in a couple of playoffs games went to Miami to play the Dolphins, bananas for two days before the game. Uh, so it's actually a very smart decision. But you know, you just know what some people are going to say, especially if there are a couple of black people in line. You know exactly what they're going to say. I'm just, I'm just warning you. What I was going to say about this, though, Trump's got off the airplane. He's down there with Melania, the whole team. Uh, Marco Rubio, Pam Bondi, Rick Scott, the governor. I mean, every, the, the Florida Power and Light CEO, the, 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 everybody. There's such a good job. You, you know, you just know that this is humming. You know this recovery. FEMA, the federal, the state, the local, the entrepreneurial efforts are all working together. And the recovery, uh, reestablishing electricity, another thing must just be going gang up because you're not hearing anything about it. The drive-bys are barely covering this. The drive-bys are not spending any time at all. The drive-bys are all trying to tell you that Trump caved and the wall is history and Chuck and Nancy are running the administration. They're not even telling you what's going on down in Florida with the hurricane recovery or Houston. They're not even talking about Hurricane Harvey anymore. And if there was a gripe, if there was even one tiny gripe, they'd be all over it because they can't wait to report that Trump doesn't care. They can't wait. They'd love to do what they did to, to Bush and, and Mike Brown, the FEMA director, after Katrina. But they can't because there, there's, there, there aren't any serious complaints. And if there were, if there were people, I'm being ignored. They walked right by me, didn't give me a banana. My house, my... If there was any of that going on, it'd be the biggest story of the week. The drive-bys have been salivating, hoping to write that Trump's blowing the hurricane recovery effort. And you can't even find a story on it, which must mean it's going bang gangbusters.